Hey guys, uh, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. I'm super excited to bring you this video. This is actually my first video on my channel, so I'm really, really excited to be doing this. Uh, I used to live in an area that uh, I had a lot of uh, carnivorous plants that I grew. Uh, it was a passion of mine and I loved them, and then we were forced to move for various reasons and I had to sell all of them. Uh, I was devastated, it was terrible, but uh, I'm now in a new place, in a new location, in an area that I can probably start to grow them again um, with some more of my own space. And now uh, I'm actually on a rescue mission. So I didn't do this the right way. Uh, normally I should probably buy from a reputable seller. I should get some new plants and I should start that way. But uh, unexpectedly I walked into Walmart and here were these little beauties. See? I think these are the typical type uh, of Venus fly traps. Um, they came in the death cube. In this case, I guess it was actually a death cylinder. Uh, I just couldn't stand to see them in these and probably die. Uh, so I picked these guys up for about five bucks each. Um, you can see there, it just makes me mad right there at the bottom. Uh, your Venus fly trap can be kept in a mini greenhouse tube, which equals death or place in a container of your choice such as a glass globe or cylinder. Um, they'll say that they need to be kept in bright and uh, in direct light, which is probably not true. They probably need more direct light. Um, you know, I, I know that Venus fly traps can grow in, um, in direct light. They can grow in uh, with heat lamps and that kind of thing, but it gets become kind of, it becomes tricky to induce uh, dormancy and if you want your plant to live a long time, you probably do need to have a dormancy period. Uh, so it's probably best to have them sort of just live in their natural habitat. So I wanted to get these guys and I wanted to start a new project, uh, save them from their death trap. So uh, here we go. Uh, I've been writing for my website, carnivorousplantshub.com for a while now. I'm just kind of sharing my knowledge and what I learned throughout the years with carnivorous plants. And I've been really, really getting that itch to buy a plant, but I was kind of holding off until the right time, but these guys kind of forced my hand a little bit. So, um, yeah, so here we go. Uh, you can see actually, I was probably a little overly excited and I uh, showed my seven year old last night how they work. Um, so we got an ant for these little guys and I let him feed the ant. Look at that one's actually eating its own there. Um, but you can see in this guy right here, you can see he's actually chomping down on an ant in there. Uh, and then actually this one here, this one you can actually see the pocket really good where the ant is. Uh, let's see if I can get that to focus for you. Uh, you can see the pocket right there. Uh, the ants are in there right now. So uh, they're chomping down. And I know you don't really need to feed your Venus fly traps um, ants, but I was so ridiculously excited to show this to my kid that uh, I just went ahead and did it. Um, and I know they can survive without feeding them. I know that, that bugs are more like fertilizer ra rather than something that they need to survive. I know it's mostly sun uh, and the right media to make sure that they survive correctly. But uh, seeing my son's eyes, eyes light up last night after watching the trap close uh, was 100% worth it. So uh, I want to get these guys uh, replanted. Uh, so that's, I'm going to be doing some more videos on replanting these guys. Uh, I picked up some Paralyte. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Some Paralyte, woo, from Lowe's. Uh, I actually have some um, uh, peat moss already uh, for planting some other stuff in our garden uh, starting this year. Uh, so I went to Lowe's to pick up that, that Paralyte um, and I found uh, that. I, I got some more peat moss. I actually also picked up some uh, silica sand and wouldn't you know it, look what I found. I found a Saracenia. I am really excited. Uh, so I went from waiting for the right time to now basically pulling the trigger on every carnivorous plant that I could see within sight. So I picked this guy up. This guy is, uh, he's not in great shape. It's pretty dry. Uh, so it desperately needs to be replanted. It desperately needs to be reintroduced into the sun. Um, let's see. So this is the uh, Perpia 
or I'm um, sorry, Purpurea uh, Saracenia. So I'm, I'm really excited to see if I can revive this guy and get him going full strength. Um, I'm going to actually be replanting this one as well. So I'll do a video on that as well as a video on the Venus flytraps. So can definitely look forward to that. Uh, guys, by the way, real quick before I show you my last discovery that I found. Uh, if, if you'd subscribe to this channel, it would just mean the world to me. I'm trying so hard to get this going. I'm going to bring you updates on all my plants that I'm planting, um, all my finds that I find. Uh, I'm going to replant these guys and do the videos for you, give you constant updates on how they're doing and, and how they're growing. I'm really excited about all this. So uh, if, if you subscribe to the channel, I'd just appreciate it so much. Give the video a like. All those things kind of help. So uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, so let's go ahead and as I was snooping around Lowe's, obviously when I saw that there was a carnivorous plant there, um, I got super snoopy and I actually found this guy. A nice little pitcher plant. This one was actually abandoned. Like somebody made a bad, you know how you see the uh, abandoned snacks uh, where somebody made a good decision on their eating. They left it like in the healthy food section. This guy was just sort of abandoned in um, like the, the pots section. It's like they looked at the pots and they're like, oh, none of these work, so they just left him there. Uh, so uh, I couldn't resist getting this little Nepenthes plant. Um, so now I went from waiting for the right time to now I have a Nepenthes, a Saracenia, and I have some Venus flytraps to deal with all at the same time. So I'm jumping in feet first. I just I wanted to save these little guys uh, and see if I can give them a good home and, and see if I can start um, with these. So I'll also be replanting this um, Nepenthes here and uh, so you guys can watch that video as well. I'm going to have all these videos down in the description so make sure and check those out. Um, this You see they came in, he came in this guy here. A uh, little dome, little death dome or death cube as they're so fondly referred to. Uh, I did want to throw a little gripe out there real quick. One thing I hate about um, seeing these plants in Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot, it's really frustrating to me because it's always like a sideshow with these plants. It's never like, oh, here's a normal plant in the plant section. It's always like they have to have these this box with like a big monster on it eating a bug. And it's like killer plants that eat meat or whatever. And it's like, that's, it's so frustrating because it's just not what they are. They're just, they're just plants that happen to get some fertilizer from some bugs. I hate that they're treated like a sideshow. So I wanted to save these guys. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little out of practice. Um, I remember all the knowledge and I've been kind of brushing up and everything. Um, but, uh, so I can't guarantee that I'm going to 100% save all these guys, especially since the area that I'm living in is different now than the area I was living in before. But uh, I'm sure as heck going to give it a go. Um, and I'm going to see if I can help save these guys and see if I can start my journey on uh, saving and growing carnivorous plants in, in the area that I'm at now, which is in, in the northwest of the United States. So uh, not the perfect location to be growing carnivorous plants uh, due to the longer winters, um, shorter summers, so not as much sun, a uh, little more care that I have to give during dormancy and during winter months uh, to make sure that they're taken care of when temperatures drop below freezing, but we're definitely going to give it a shot. Um, and if I can rescue these guys, I'll be pretty happy about that. If I can rescue these guys and keep them going, then we'll probably continue to add to this collection because uh, if any of you out there have carnivorous plants, you know that these guys are like crack. And once you get one, it's really hard to uh, stop at just one. So I've definitely got the bug again. Um, actually, you know what? I videoed the I videoed my Venus flytrap catching the bug last night, the uh, ant. Um, I'll show that to you real quick. All right, Connor's trying to catch an ant. We're going to go ahead and feed the Venus flytrap for the first time. Going to give it to that guy there. There you go. Oh. Got him. Did it get it? Yeah, it's in. What if it gets out because it's skinny? Can it get out? I think it triggered the... It had to have triggered the... Hit. Is there like a signal? Yeah, it closed. Well, yeah, it closed. Oh, so, that one's getting away. Uh-oh. This one's getting away, too. Let me just go put them back out. That ant oh, might be able to get out. It might be a little too small. How do you know if it triggers the hairs again? Oh, yep, it's climbing through the... All right. 
Um, so yeah, so that's that's where I'm at. Uh, this is this is my my Walmart and Lowe's uh, carnivorous plant haul. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. I'm, I'm excited to share this journey with you. Um, my dream a long time ago was one day to have a carnivorous plant nursery, and I'm you know trying to kind of continue that dream. And I'm hoping that one day to be able to expand this into something that's beyond just a, a hobby for myself. So. Um, any of your support, subscriptions, likes, any of that stuff, it, you, you really have no idea how much it means to me. I know this is a new channel and, um, you know, people don't like to subscribe to new channels, but uh, any of your support is, is really, really appreciated. So um, here's to these beautiful carnivorous plants. Let's hope that we can give them a good home, a good place to live, and that they can thrive. And thank you again so much for watching. You guys have a great day.